So we're out here and we're gonna dig up all of our onions. Um, as far as giving them a haircut, um, I probably should have done that weeks ago instead of now. That's a good size one. Um, some of our onions just aren't very big. It's like a lot of the growth went into the uh, into the stock. Let me show you. So versus that onion, which stock is pretty small, versus this onion, which stock is really big. So I'm thinking that the haircut idea sounds sounds reasonable. So next year, definitely. Let's see, that's a good size one. But see how little the stock is. So it's like these ones that have this huge stalk aren't, aren't that big. So we're gonna dig them up and we're gonna plant some black eyed peas. Okay, so now he's killing, um, killing where the onions were and we're gonna plant some black eyed peas. So this is our onion harvest. I'm very, very disappointed. As you can see, it looks like a lot of the growth went into the stems, but we had that awful, awful winter. So I'm sure that some of that has to do with that. So, uh, the peppers, this is just today's pick. They make every day. So we'll get more peppers. There's a poblano and then a bunch of jalapenos. And then there's the peas that we're fixing to plant. He's tilled it and now we're hoeing a row. Y'all, we're fixing to have a ton of tomatoes. We have tomatoes everywhere. We just need some sunshine. We've got so much rain here. And uh, today, I mean, just to, just to till it's really muddy, but we've got tomatoes everywhere. We need some sunshine. Corn's doing great. Um, we've got, there's some little cherries. We need... We've had an unusual amount of rain for about a month, maybe a month and a half. So there goes the fertilizer. And our squash is doing fair. Cucumbers have blooms everywhere and our beans are doing pretty good. I didn't plant enough beans. Our peppers are doing great though. Hopefully our black eyed peas will. Okay, so where the onions were, we we planted some okra, a half a row of okra, because I already have okra somewhere else. And then um, starting in the middle of the row, we started with some green beans. Babe, don't use your hand. And we started with these here. Um, and then we ended the row with uh, these. So we're gonna see which ones we like better. Um, I want to show you these tomatoes. Here's our little baby. Kennedy brought the kittens back from Alabama. But look, we got tomatoes and they're everywhere. But it's going to have a big, huge harvest. We named her Bella. Our other cat, Nikki, is not happy about it. <laughs> she's so ugly she's cute but she is cute she just runs everywhere <laughs> guess that grass is moving so she has to go play with it ace is getting a bath <laughs> he's our only dog right now we lost our little drake our little schnauzer that y'all see so many times running around in the background getting the little crumbs off the floor. He was 14 and his little body just 
gave out. And then, of course, we lost Bear just a month or two before that. He had a cancerous tumor or something. But we've got Ace, and he's a good hunting dog. Chris is giving him a bath so he can get rid of his fleas. I'm going to show you some of my flowers. They're so pretty. My roses. All the roses are in full bloom. They're so pretty. Everything's so pretty. I'll take y'all over here. Looky here, my larkspur. I gave a, a, seed, a seed, seed giveaway last year. And uh, the, that purple right there, all of those are fixing to be in full bloom. And uh, here's another one. This is a uh, compost, I believe it's called. And a couple of things I need to plant there, but oh, Nikki, there's nothing wrong with you. But look at my roses over here. Aren't they gorgeous? so pretty. There's our new little plant. It gets really big so I had to plant it way off from the corner of the house. Oh, it's so pretty.